My guest today is Brandon Satram. Brandon, how are you? I'm great, David. How are you? I'm doing well. Great. Tell me what do you do. So I am a uh, developer evangelist for Particle. Particle yeah. is an IoT hardware and platform company that's uh, based in San Francisco. We make uh, dev boards and a cloud platform for people to build internet connected uh, solutions. And uh, I understand that you're also a book author. I am also a book author. Yeah, that's right. So Tell me about your book. that's yeah, my 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 side project, my passion project. I also founded a company called Carrot Pants Studios. Carrot Pants. Carrot I Pants like Studios. It. Yeah, that was a name inspired by my oldest son. Uh-huh. And uh, I I have been in sort of hobbyist and electronics for about the past four or five years. And I was taking my kids through this process as well. And we were doing you know Arduino based projects and you know building circuits and things okay. like How that. How old are your kids? They're, right now they're nine, seven, and four. And I've got all boys. Oh, all boys. Awesome. So I have all boys as well. Oh, not, yeah. It's uh it's crazy in my house, but it's fun, you know. And so we do a lot of projects together. And one of the things that I always felt was missing in the world of electronics education was something that was that would really help kids understand what it was they were building, not just about making a light blank, but why it happened and some of the basic concepts and components that get used in building electronics projects. So we created Carrot Pants Press with the idea of really making, using the power of story to get kids excited about electronics and understanding some really core concepts in this space. So uh, I wrote a book last year called Ed Gets His Power Back, and we launched that uh, as a Kickstarter. Yep. So we did that via a Kickstarter campaign and and raised about $17,000 to get that first book published, which we delivered in January of this year, Mm -hmm. uh, which is very cool. Early. We were an early Kickstarter project. I got the e-book and the stickers. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. I love the the stickers are my favorite. That's my favorite part of it. Well, I see a sticker right there. Yeah, that's right. So on the back of the phone, it's getting a little beat up now, but I've got got that on the phone too. So. Yeah, so the, the story actually is a story about a green LED named Ed uh-huh. uh, and his sort of journey. He has to figure out how to light up his LED before the sun sets in the city, mm. in the city of Red Bordeaux is where he lives. <laughs> and uh, along the way, he sort of learns about how to, you know, how to get power to his LED, how other components like resistors and capacitors, f- how they play a role in, in building circuits and, you know, kids learn from engaging characters, fun characters. We've got a great illustrator working with us, a guy by the name of Jake Page uh-huh. in South Carolina. And uh, and just a, a great story to go with it. So we had fun doing that, and that's something that we're I'm still doing on the side and really that's excited very about. Cool. Was this a story you already had? It was like a story you told to your kids, or did you yeah. sit down and make it up just uh, for this project? That's a great question. It, it is a little bit. I, I had the idea, actually, about two years before I wrote the book. Uh, I was working. I was in another job. I was at Telerik at the time, mm-hmm. and I... Uh, uh, I had written, I had a, a whiteboard in my office at home, and I would sketched out the idea. I, I r- drew a little poorly illustrated whiteboard drawing of Ed the LED, sketch out some ideas, and I would sort of tell the story a bit to my boys as it, it developed over time. But it, was, it wasn't until, you know, two years later that I finally sat down and I said, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to write this and see what happens. And mm. I wrote the book over the course of about three or four days. Uh-huh. Then spent the next several weeks with my, my wife and, and co-founder of this business. She she is the editor extraordinaire, uh-huh. and so she makes the book really good. I mean, it would not be without without her careful eye and attention to detail. To collaborator. Yeah, it helps. Yeah, a lot. So we you know we spent a long time editing it, found an illustrator, uh-huh. uh, and really brought the whole thing to life. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, tell me a little about the Kickstarter experience. What yeah. was that like? Was that your first Kickstarter? It was my first Kickstarter and very intimidating. This was my first time contributing to a Kickstarter. Oh, was it really? Yeah, it was. Oh, awesome. I, we had a, actually had a I lot of first. important that you know that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that, Dave. I'm, you know, I, we should talk offline about like what it was that got you over the hump because we had a lot of first time contributors to our campaign. Like, oh. You know, f- I, like oh, I don't know. Do you know that they're first-time contributors? Yeah, so you can find yeah you can find through the the folks that sign up like in their accounts like if they've backed other projects I and see. things like that. I don't think maybe Kickstarter doesn't make it available for everybody, but okay. if you have your profile, it'll say like join this point. You know how many oh, okay. times they've backed. But we had we had about two hundred and fifty backers, hmm. uh, and there were a good number of them. They were first time. They were excited about the book, and they signed up for Kickstarter and backed for the first time because of it. So, which was neat. That was a neat experience. But the experience, yeah. for me, was it was fun, but also a lot of work. The Kickstarter part of it was the whole the Kickstarter part oh. of it. it was probably more work than writing the book itself, and it was it was because of the marketing okay. stuff. It's an area where I've tried to get better as an individual. I mean, I'm a, I'm a developer by background right. and experience. I've done evangelism before. I do it now. So I, I, I get the marketing side of things, but I also don't. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like, I still have a lot to learn. Yeah. Well, and evangelism is about uh, 
selling without selling. You know, you're true. building relationships. A and absolutely. So yeah, so, so it doesn't you feel like that pressure. Right. It doesn't feel like marketing is you're trying to build a relationship. Yeah. And I, and I think actually that's a really good point because it was that relationship building aspect that I think I needed to transpose into the campaign because it was really about how we were trying to help families and kids understand this world and not be intimidated. I mean, we learned through the process that a lot of parents are very intimidated about introducing their kids to electronics if mm -hmm. they don't have a background in of software course. or hardware or electronics as well. And so that getting to that point and understanding sort of that messaging and why we were doing it and who it was for and why it was important, that was probably the most work in the whole thing, mm. was thinking through building the campaign, doing a video. You have to do a video with a Kickstarter yeah. campaign. So writing the script, I mean, that took longer than writing the book, I think. It's been a while. So weren't your kids in the video? The kids were That's in the video, right. yeah. A couple years ago. And they're actually, we, we, so we, spoiler, because I haven't said it here yet, we are doing the next campaign in like two weeks. Oh, you're doing a sequel? We're doing a sequel. Oh, let's yeah. talk about that. All right, yeah. Are we done talking about Kickstarter? We, uh, do what? <laughs> are we done talking about sure, the Sure, we're done talking we about it. It was fun, but I it was a lot of work. What's next. Yeah. yeah, so what's next is uh, there's a second book. It's Return called. Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. <laughs> it's called <laughs> it's called Ellie Saves the Day. Okay. Uh, and and the character in this book is Ellie, uh, a blue LED. Okay. And she actually Ed, Ed, Ed the LED will come back. There's other characters that will come back, but we'll introduce a few new ones in addition to Ellie. And the the circuit in this point, and I guess I, I may not have mentioned this before, but the whole point of the book was to show an actual circuit being constructed uh, okay. through the story. So we'll do that here as, as well, and there'll be a brand new circuit with new characters, and. Um, we're moving actually from a breadboard onto a printed circuit board. Mm -hmm. So we're also taking the concepts further for kids. So okay. showing like when you go into the realm of reality, when you put a piece of electronics in a computer or in a toy, you make a circuit board. Right. And that is what real electronics look like. So we're sort of, we want, we're introducing that concept to kids. And the kits these time will actually be a custom designed PCB that I've, that I've built that they can use to plug the components in and build the circuit from the next Oh, that's boat. really cool. So my level of Kickstarter, I, I did not contribute enough to actually get the kit. Yeah, yeah. But there is a piece of hardware that comes There is a piece of hardware, yeah. So for the first book, we gave everybody a little, br the, the folks that got this kit, yeah. a breadboard and then the components to build the circuit. Very cool. Uh, and that's cool. That was great. But, you know, breadboards are a fun prototyping device, but they're also not super kid friendly. Okay. They're barely adult friendly. Like, I have to, like, squint to get yeah. these things in, in the little holes. And, and so for this one, we're actually doing a, 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 like a printed circuit board, uh. and then we're going to put headers in where the components go, so you're not soldering this thing. Right. And the kids will just plug the components into the right spots, and oh, it'll be cool. obvious where things go, and you'll get something finished that's a lot more kid-friendly out of it. So that's what we're planning to do this yeah, time. From an educational point of view, it, does, it, does it build on book one? In other words, it does. Do, you, do you need to have completed the exercise in book one? To no, to you don't have to. We, we know that a lot of folks will have, have gone that route, but you don't have to. I mean, we're sort of making the assumption that We'll reintroduce some of the same concepts. I see. We will have in the campaign folks that folks that haven't gotten the first book can back the second one and get the first one. Obviously, we've got okay. them. We might as well make them available uh -huh. to people. Uh, but you don't. They can be mutually exclusive. You can go through the exercise in the second one, having not gone through the first, and you'll mm -hmm. still learn some some cool stuff. I like this. This sounds like fun and educational. Yeah, it's, I it's hope so. Edutainment. Uh, edutainment. <laughs> yeah, I like where, it. <laughs> where do folks go to find out and keep up on when the, the first book and when the second book Yeah, comes so you can go to carrotpantsstudios.com, uh -huh. carrotpantsstudios.com, and uh, that has info on the first book, and okay. then uh, maybe by the time this is out, we're going to launch the second Kickstarter campaign on June 26th. Okay, that's uh, pretty soon. Yeah, it's what pretty soon. It's like the 13th or something like that? Yeah, today, today's third. Yeah, so it's less than two weeks. Oh. Uh, so yeah, it's coming up around the corner. I got a lot of work to do still, but yeah, carrotpantstudios.com is where all of that will be. Right. Great. Thanks so much. Thanks, David. Appreciate it. I've been in technology a long time, and one of the things I love about it is how many friends that I've made around the world and the ideas that I've generated from those folks and projects that I've gotten to work on and people that I've gotten to meet. And hopefully you've had the same experience.